Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to talk about a queuing system which is a MM1 system. And we're going to derive the steady state probabilities specific for this MM1 system. So let's start. So the complete Kendalli notation for this um, queuing system is MM1 GD infinity infinity. As an illustration for this um, system, we have one server and then if there is already a customer served by the system, then the next customers may line up a queue. Um, since the capacity of this um, queuing system is infinite, then uh, this queue can, gives get, can keeps getting longer and longer. So any customer that comes to the system, they may join the queue and then wait until they are served. So this is how the system MM1 works. So here's the rate diagram for a MM1 queuing system. So the states here show the number of customers present in the system. And then using the terminology in the birth and death process, the birth rate in the MM1 system is always lambda. And the service rate for this MM1 system is always mu for all states, except that for the state zero, mu zero equals zero. We have seen this formula in the birth and death video, the formula to calculate pi j and pi zero. Pi j is the probability of having j people in our system. So pi zero means the probability of having zero people, zero customer in our system. Okay, um, But this is a bit uh, complicated because we need to do the summation up to j equals infinity. So here we are going to find a simpler way to calculate pi zero for the MM1 system. So plugging in the j's to pi j, we obtain this formula. And we see that here, um, the pi one, pi two, and pi j can have this kind of pattern. The pattern is for pi one is lambda over mu times pi zero. Pi two is lambda squared over mu squared times pi zero. Pi j is lambda to the power of j divided by mu to the power of j times pi zero. And this pattern can happen because um, in the MM1 system, the birth rate is always lambda regardless of the state. And the service rate is always mu regardless of the state. So this CJ is kind of simplified. Um, Anytime we want to calculate pi j, we just take the power of j for the, for the lambda and also the power of j for the mu. So we have obtained pi 1, pi 2, pi j. What we are going to do next is we are going to obtain a formula for pi 0. First, um, we define rho equals lambda over mu. So this means that this is rho lambda over mu. This is rho squared. This is rho to the power of j, right? And then we assume that rho is greater than or equal to 0, but less than 1. Now we take the fact that the sum of all pi's must equal 1. So uh, we can say that pi 0, so this is pi 0 times 1 is pi 0 itself, plus pi 0 times rho is pi 1, right? Because this is rho, and then times pi 0, it becomes pi 1. And then pi 0 times rho squared is pi 2, and so on. And the sum of all pi must equal 1. Now, we will define that all these things inside this bracket here, we define, is, uh, we define it as S. Okay, so that's what we've done so far. So we define all these things inside the bracket as S, and then we multiply S with rho. So rho S now looks like this. And then we subtract s with rho s. 
and then if you subtract them it becomes 1 because you see if you subtract s with rho s and then you will have um, things cancelling out each other so this will cancel with that that with that that with something there and so on so the remaining thing is only one here so s minus rho s equals one which means that we can say s is one over one minus rho so now we know that um, the thing inside this bracket here that we represent as s we can replace it with this 1 over 1 minus rho and then we can solve this to obtain that pi 0 equals 1 minus rho and then um, if we plug in the rho into the pi j's we may uh, obtain the formula for pi j's in a mm1 system which look like this rho to the power of j times 1 minus rho again here we must assume that rho is greater than or equal to 0 but less than 1 now what is rho actually rho is the traffic intensity of the queuing system if rho is greater than or equal 1 since this rho is lambda over mu it means that uh, lambda is greater than or equal mu it means that the arrival rate is greater than or equal to the service rate in the mm1 system it means that no steady state probabilities exist because the system will blows up there are more and more customer coming into the system so the queue will just keeps getting longer 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 and longer and it will never finish because uh, the arrival rate for example six customers per hour exceeds the service rate for customers per hour so the average number of customers will keep growing by two customers per hour it means that um, the system will never reach a steady condition that's why in the mm1 system if we have a rho greater than or equals to one it means that we do not have a steady state probability so here's the summary of what we've learned so far this is the candle notation for the mm1 system and then these are the formulas to calculate the steady state probabilities pi zero pi j and then remember that rho is uh, defined as lambda over mu and then we will use this uh, steady state probabilities to calculate other interesting things for example the average number of customers present in the system and the average time a customer typically spent in the system we're going to do this in the next video so see you in the next one thank you